Every window on this station. It's engulfing the place. It's everywhere. What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed the path toward towards Earth. slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station, or changed its flight pattern around Talos. Twelve minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark eight to ten minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. The VIP shuttles don't show the same... irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out. Who? What? Am I talking to? My Morgan. name is January 2035. Morgan? There are many operators aboard Maybe. Talos 1, I, I see but a none of them are like looks me. Like Morgan, you? Morgan, be cautious. Your brother is unstable. He may not permit you to activate the self-destruct. Also, he's armed. Unstable? Is that a joke, Operator? You've let this machine poison you. Did it tell you it's not gonna let you off the station? <laughs> it would never harm you, Morgan. Never. This machine, it had your voice. I knew from the video you'd done something with Operators, but this? It's not too late, you know. We can still salvage this. You change your mind once, you can change it again. I won't stop you if you decide to end it all. I told you I wouldn't. So. This is Captain Jada Marks. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos 1. Best guess, based on Morning. telemetry data, Advent departed wrong. approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report signed by security. decades of work in scientific progress in a matter of minutes. minutes. It is this isn't that going to keep the world safe. I must the decide whether or not will to be remote back one detonate day. the shuttle Only and next time we'll be helpless and ignorant they may very because well of be what you're about to do. It's not too late, you know. We can still salvage this. You change your mind once, you can change it again. I won't stop you if you decide to end it all. I told you I wouldn't. So, what's it gonna be? Did I, I thought... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. It's not too late. Is everything okay? We can still turn no, this around. it's not. The prototype Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my But you my have safe. to hurry. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. Uh, <sighs> I've almost this got... Is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication system is malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Marks out. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate <sighs> Talos 1. I wish there was something I could have said to snap you out of this. Fugue. It's my fault. I gambled too much. And the worst part? It isn't losing the station or the tech. It's you. I lost my brother. That is a mistake I will never recover from. Warning. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate. There's nothing left to talk about. Have a seat. You might as well join me. Let's pretend we're still family. One last time while we watch all of our work go up in flames. I'm sure it'd be a sight. Warning. Reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1.
I keep having this dream.
It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind. Or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dor's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Daniel, what do you say? It never saw me, and it never ran into Volunteer 37. Hard to say what it would have done. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I just don't think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect her? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we had to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the wall of today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. <laughs>